And Celia's going to inherit. That's the worst of it. <laughs> Been a decent captain. A little slow on the draw yesterday, I have to say. But decent. Yes, my lord. Yeah, Sorry, my lord. She memorized the litany on the white cliff in a night. Is it possible? No.
stupid bastards. They picked the wrong side of this fight. I can't even tell who's on the right side of this one. Looks pretty clear from where I'm standing. I don't think anyone knows what happened. We saw the little girl, I mean the Empress, go through the gatehouse and into the lighthouse proper. Then we heard the shots. Then we rushed the gatehouse, but it's sealed up. What makes us right? Them wrong. Yeah, Cannon we're bringing up has a right end and a wrong end of it. Yeah. <coughs> well, you're too late. I'm already dying without your help. A stray bullet. I'll never know whose. What could I offer you anyway? You want money? Well, I'm broke. Women, maybe? Everyone knows you were screwing the Empress. You like noble women. You should meet my cousin Celia. <laughs>
Father's Day, the Caldons were thrust into the limelight despite their distance to the throne. But the former dynasty of Peru provided no heirs. A prosperous age followed the emperor, but his daughter would have different luck. During her short life, political intrigue and minor conflicts created cracks in the empire, undermining unity across the aisles. The rat plague, however, was a terror for which ne neither Empress Cauldron nor any other living being was prepared. strength, but Corvo's role in this cannot ever be recognized. He must be vilified, and when it take, when I take the reign of the city of the Empire, I will see, I will be seen as a hero and protector. Have Lock and Tree, Lock and Tree 6. Until we get through all of this and hold the coronation, nothing certain. The Wall Tower has got its own culture. No telling what could happen if we moved into the place too soon. The next steps must be handled carefully. Things are happening quickly now. I need time to think. Teague Martin is now High Overseer. He is a clever one, and his ideas have taken us very far. Considering where he comes from, he should be very pleased with himself. Now we can be assured that the Overseers will support our claims, whatever they may be. There is only one man now standing between us and will control the Empire. The Lord Regent will soon find himself staring into that hideous mask of Corvos. Of that I have no doubt, but what happens after that? He is returning now with Anton Sokolov over his shoulder. Simply amazing. Not only can Corvo protect project lethal force, he can do extraction that I didn't think possible, and soon the two greatest minds of the Empire will be here, together. If I could get these rivals to cooperate, they could create weapons and tools of imaginable power. If I could command both of them, well, I'll wait and measure their dispositions towards one another before following that line of thought. Pendleton was willing to go further than I thought. He served up his own flesh and blood to the cause, and I can see that he's truly loyal to the Empire. Could I have done the same if my brother was still alive today? Probably. Undoubtedly, many innocents must be sacrificed for the good of Dunwall. Every loyal watchman that falls beneath Corvo's blade is giving his life for the Empire. Well, it seems that we have invested in the right man in Corvo. Not only did he free Martin from the office of the High Overseer, but he went to that viper's nest and sorted out Campbell personally. With Corvo in our company, I suspect there is no one in the world we cannot touch. We are now committed to this path. There is no turning back. It has been days since our men were dispatched to stash weapons for Corvo in the old sewer. They have not returned, so I can only hope that he succeeded in getting the packages delivered. Piero sent considerable time and resources making these things. If I could find a way to mass produce them, the Dunwall Navy would secure its place in that dominant force in the globe. But back to Corvo, can he actually break out of Cauldron? And if so, would he make his way here and personally give him odds of a one in five? So I'm glad you had so much faith in me.
Reapers are all dead, aren't they? Yes. That's all right, because I was going to have them killed anyway. I am going to be Empress. Hustle Field 59, wow. Spence Field, none. Lime Strong, none. Dead or Crush, my Field 13. We're all chaos, hi. Yeah, really. Kill Martin, Red Hemlock's Turtle, and rescue with Emily. One on one. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, I still pay in short. What will history tell us? That the daughter of a murdered empress ascended the throne up a mountain of corpses, carried by an assassin named Corvo? Yes. No. No. They'll say that little Emily Caldwin I came to power in an age of terror and corruption and that she did her best in a world that is not kind to little girls or empresses. Whether the stories told mention you by name or not, she will remember you were there, Corvo. Dishonored. Thank you for watching. Uh, next week I'm going to be starting on the downloadable content with. Uh, what are the contents? I kind of forgot. Now nah, I'm not going to do the Dunwall trials, but we will start in with the knife of Dunwall next Wednesday. So again, thanks for watching, everyone. See you next week.